Hello, so this time I'll show you how to create markers using draw marker function and I'll show you how to add some functionality to markers. You can find all the documentation of the lessons down in the description below. So first of all, in your server resource uh, folder, create new resource called marker actions also I didn't mention before but um, all the names of the resources have to be one word they can't be two separate words so that's why I'm using the underscore let's open this folder and create two new text files and fx man Let's open the fx manifest.lua file and and add the needed parameters. Now we can open the client.lua file. And here we create new local um, variable. We call it marker. Probably. and <coughs> use vector tree and add these I'll just add these um, coordinates which is where my uh, character is at the moment um, I got the coordinates using the uh, script that we made in the previous uh, lesson so in here we create a um, new thread um, just like the last time And we're gonna create a new variable called distance, which we're gonna for which we're gonna use a native um, Lua function, which is just this sign, and then we're gonna uh, write player coordinates minus. Um, marker pause so that's gonna get the distance between the player coordinates and between the marker pause that's just the simple way to write it so now when we have distance we're gonna put an if statement and we're gonna say if distance is smaller than 100.0 we're gonna draw marker only if the player is closer because you don't need to actually draw the marker if player is like really far away it's just gonna uh, use unnecessary resources of clients um, machine basically so since the draw marker function has like quite a lot of parameters I'll just I'll just paste it in to save some time but basically what you need to pay attention to is just these three uh, parameters which is uh, pet actually I need to put a marker pause here instead of this and you can find all the documentation from the draw marker function and the official side and it shows all the example and everything how to use it and what exactly each of the parameter means but yeah for now I'm just gonna leave it like that and then we're gonna put else uh, block and here we're just gonna do citizen wait 2000 so what that means is if player is further away than 100 meters the script is not gonna do anything for two seconds so like that we're just gonna save resources of the client's machine again uh, so if player gets closer than 100 uh, uh, meters it's gonna keep repeating every frame and this is gonna be ignored so now if we join server refresh and start marker actions as you can see a new blip is being 
shown here. I mean, a new marker is gonna is being shown here. But if I step on it, nothing really happens. So we're gonna change that now. And what I'm also gonna do is. So I have changed the parameters a little bit. I said one of these was 180, so I just said it's zero. And this, I instead of plus one, I added minus one, and I changed the type of the uh, web to set it to number one. Okay, so now when we have the marker, we can add some functionality to it. So here we're gonna create a new variable called is in marker, which is gonna hold a boolean false. Uh, so in here, we're gonna add a new if statement, and we're gonna say if distance is smaller than 2.0, then we're gonna do what's in here. So if player is less than two meters from a marker, which is basically inside the marker, is everything here is gonna be executed. And here we just write this marker is equal to true. And in here we're gonna create a new if statement and say is and marker then and then everything here is gonna be executed. So basically if a player distance is less than two meters, which sets this to true, and if this is true here, then we're gonna execute what's in here. And here we're gonna write trigger event and say chat message. And we're just gonna get add you on inside the mark. So when the player is two meters less than two meters away from the from these coordinates this is going to be set to true and this is gonna this chat message is going to be sent to the player but there's one thing which is still wrong in here and i'm going to show you what it is now so we're starting the uh, the resource and you're gonna see what's gonna happen so we're gonna have an infinite amount of uh, messages that are keep coming to the chat which we don't want we want we want it to just be shown once so i'll show you how to do it now so for that we're gonna create a new variable called uh, has already got already got message and we're gonna set it to false so that's we that's what we're gonna use to check if player has already got the uh, message. In here, we're gonna add else statement, and we're gonna put has already got message to false as well. So when the player moves further away than two meters, this is gonna be set to false. And here we're gonna be adding has already got a message as well and actually and not has already got a message and then we're gonna put has already got a message to true and you're gonna see what's gonna happen if i restart this i go in there and i only see the message once and as you can see i get out step in again and it shows the message again so it only shows it once for me and not spamming like it was before. If you have any questions or you're struggling with something, just join my Discord and ask questions there. I'll try to help you as much as I can. So that's it for this time. I hope you learned something and hope to see you in the next.